York. The birthplace of hip hop where they basically put a lot of talented artists and producers on the map, such as Jay-Z, Nas, Biggie, Large Professor, just to name a few, along with Milk D from Audio 2 and MOP, Jazz J, and the godfather of hip hop, Cool Herc. But it doesn't stop right there. But while we're in Brooklyn on St. James and 14th Street, the home of Notorious B.I.G., this one brother had took beats, rhymes, and life to another level. And this brother is not only a Queens native, but he's a fourth member of Tri Call Quest. And that person is Jerome White. Now, today's show is going to be epic. We're going to have Jerome, a few clips from the Queensbridge um, extravaganza with all the hip hop artists, such as Large Professor. Nancy Shan, Tragedy Gaddafi, you name it, you got it. And also a little short interview of my, my little brother, DJ Myth, from the Worldwide Star GJ, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's go. DJ Myth, for the morning, represent the WorldwideDJ.com. This is MJ Bonrod from my man's farm right here. Power goes down, know your nice entertainment every day. Oh, word, word. Now, question. What made you get into, you know, DJing and everything? I mean, just the love for the music, man. I'm just like, just one of the icons right here. Michael Jackson alone, you know, Barry White, James Brown. I mean, all the people that really started R&B music. I mean, real R&B, rhythm and blues. You know, before rock and roll and everything else. But just the love of the music, it's just, it's just like healing your soul, your mind, everything, you know? like. Okay, and y'all been traveling back in the days, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah, 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 we've been all over. I mean, you name it. All the biggest clubs in New York City, Maryland, D.C., you know, Virginia, you name it. We've been there. Word. And how did you actually collab with this um, this project with the Michael Jackson tribute? Well, you know, actually, um, it was actually through a couple of friends. And, you know, a lot of people heard about myself and, Name of gas. Yes. 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 Y
Right now, I am here with the hypnotist Mike, man, the, the owner of this beautiful restaurant, Bed Vibe Cocktail. Question, how long has this restaurant actually been open? Well, Cocktail's only been open for four months, but, you know, we have also Bed Vibe Brew, which has been open two years, and we have Bed Vibe Wine, which has been open four years. Mm -hmm. So, Wine's a wine store, Brew is the craft beer and wine bar, and Cocktail's obviously the cocktail bar. Word. Now, how did you and uh, Master Chef Jerobe actually collaborated for this epic event? Actually, we to my man Dominic, my little brother, my little frat brother, Five Minutes in with Trinity Incorporated. And let's go ahead and find out what he has to say and how he feels about Trump. And the other reason why I'm is because it's actual music. It's, it's, it's not instrumentation. Like, you can 
hear a bass, you hear that bass, you hear that guitar, you hear that, uh, you hear those drums and kicks. So like all of that, every single sound in that in that instrumental can play and match with the instrument, and that's powerful. Especially nowadays, where all you get is click and bass. Like, and that's corny. It's good when you want to get turned, you know, you want to do your party up. shit. But World Tour will still get it on the world. So just, oh shit, oh no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you do your little touchdown dance joint that we used to do in the '90s. Dude, that's 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 what man. it is, man. That's 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 real music. That's why I bang with them. I bang, and the new school cats that are doing it today, like Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. like 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 uh, J Cole, that are doing it, like like uh, right here in the heart of Brooklyn. You got Joey Badass that's helping him. Yeah, you know, and I like just Joey. to name a few off the top that are doing it mainstream cats that are doing it. You know what I mean? You have people that are large in the underground, but once you shift, there's always that shift from the underground to mainstream, something changing. Not too many people hold on to what got the people anyway, you know? Kendrick Lamar is one of those, and, and J. Cole. J. Cole to me is still trying to find himself as an artist, but Kendrick Lamar one of those people that was able to bridge that gap from, and it was, it's more of an evolution. You can see that, you can still see the little remnants of what he had, and then, but just add it on something different. Right. As opposed to, this is my new album and this is my new sound. Like, no, this is me. I'm just adding something new to what already works. And I'm fucking, wow. fuck with it hard. And Tribe still has the same, same formula. I'm fuck with it so hard. Yeah. It's like, like, for me, like, when I, when me and my cats out, you know, I was actually, when we first got in the tribe, it was just like, yo, we, we mess with you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, from Gangstar to Gangstar. I mean, Gangstar, you know, Jay Ruby Damager, you know, um, I mean, like the whole Gangstar Foundation, I started to mess with, you know, tribe, then the native tongue, with, you know, with everybody, you know, the Castle Church in New York, they all live with each other. That was deep, and they got my man Common, you know, from, you know, Southside Chicago. You know, big up to my man right there. But it's like, as everything started, you know, elevating, came out our boy from Detroit, Jack Diller, who actually, you know, came, you know, and worked with Ola. And from there, he just started just knocking down beats, knocking down beats, knocking down beats, collabing with Ali Shaheed Muhammad, and it was just like. Wow, a lot of people didn't know who Dilla was, but Dilla, like we knew Dilla and we knew Dilla's sounds. So it was like, even though it was collab with Ali Shaheed Muhammad and some of the straight Dillas, you know, we were like, okay, that's Dilla, that's Dilla. But due to his passing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it basically affected a lot of people. People here in New York, people in LA, people overseas. I mean, it was just like, it's we, yeah. But you know, that was our brother, you know what I'm saying? You know, from the rhythm kitchen to the hip hop shop, and to the shelter, to say it was cool. I mean, like the whole lot. You know, this, is, this was like our niche. We was basically trying to basically just get out of the game and make it, that's it. And basically explore our town. Like me, being a dancer, that's what I did. You know, as soon as I graduate, moved in to New York. You know, dance with them, come to jam, do my thing. Then after that, 96, 98, start dancing on BET and playing a group and also still working, you know, trying to elevate my skills so I can, you know, be part of that body count family. B-Boy? I used to be boy You know, B-Boy, Up Rock, you know, Pop and everything. You know, that's how you know that's how Detroit dance and everything. Okay. So, um, but yeah, from there, man. You know, like I said, you know, I'm here, you here, everybody's here. You know, support my board, Master Jeff Jerome. You know, these couple skills. But yo, I want to say this is my dog, old fat brother Dominic. You know, but the other two ain't here. I call them the Run DMC, man. Five Minute right. Sigma. You know, right. we, we, are, we, are, we in here. You oh, know? It takes. The idea is to get us all here, but it takes one to represent. That's all it is. As long as we're here, we're in the building, fight data chapter, summer 11, you already know. Yeah, Cap Alpha Sigma chapter, you know, so my George, you know, George Sigma, we go every day, man. Go Mama, go home. All right. Yes, sir. But, but yeah, stay tuned. Again, you know, we're going to be with my man, Master Chef Jerobi. He's getting everything set up right now, so, yo, stay tuned, all right? We're the kitchen. Here in Brooklyn. Let's go. Yo. 
that was my little mob, Dominic. Yo, still seeing the mob and everything. Now we're gonna go ahead and transition to my man, Mr. Lynn from Company Flow. Yo, man, good seeing this brother. Let's go ahead and find out what he's been doing for the past few years. Yo, welcome to another episode of the Rhythm Kitchen. Man, we bringing really good flavor to your ear. Right now, we got my man, Mr. Lynn from Company Flow. What's up? Long time no see, yeah. brother. Hey, we talking two like, I'm gray now. Man. We all gray, but I have to shave and bald. So, hey, that tells yeah, me nah, something. You look, look, you know, I keep, oh, yeah. I keep the Ball squad. <laughs> So what you actually have been up to, you know, for the past year? Uh, well, you know, after Kofo broke up, I mm -hmm. put out a solo record uh, and helped Jean, Jean Grey. Uh, okay. I was DJing for her. You know, she had the song Taco Day on the album, which is a big song for her. Um, uh, right now, I'm in a group with Prince Paul and Brett Maddock called Dirty Disco Squares. And, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm working on another project as well with uh, Corey Glover from Living Color. Word! Yeah, yeah, and I actually produced a song on the Living Color album. So. Really? Now, how did you hook up with uh, with Prince Paul and them? How did you jump on that group? Uh, see, I met Paul when he was doing uh, Prince Among Thieves. Wow. That's, that's back way in like 90, back. I want to say that's like 98, 99. Yeah, that's way back. You know, he had Breeze Brewing on it. Brewing's, you know, one of the Indelibles. So, you know, uh, I was, you know, we were all like just always traveling. Met, <laughs> met Paul and I'm like, you know, he was like, wow, you're, you're kind of quirky. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we, we just always got along. You know, that, Paul is the, uh, it's, you know, people call him a mentor right. for, for a reason. reason. Like, right. And like, the thing is, like, he's not one of them who's going to sit you down and like, tell you what you need to do. Like, <laughs> it, it, it happens naturally. Like, you know, you realize, like, damn, Paul just dropped, like, jewels on him. Like, yo, what you don't want to do? Like, ah, you like, oh, shit, you know what? I don't want to do. Right. You know, so, that, that's the whole thing. Like, Red Maddox's a LA OG, so you know. Right. Shout out to my man Rep Maddox, yo man. I can't wait to see you, family. Hope everything is good with you, man. Everybody, even my man Prince Paul, I haven't seen you in a dog or hot minute. Matter of fact, the last time I saw y'all was back in Miami. Where uh, my man Teddy Ted Special came from All uh, Alter 2 Entertainment. Shout out to them, you know, from New Jersey. But yeah, that's the last song, man. It was like the, the DJ competition. Oh, that was way back in Miami. Gosh, I mean, like, I. I mean, because when I saw you, I was like, oh my God, what up, Philly? We was like, oh, snap. And matter of fact, you was getting on the real, um, getting, getting ready to go on the set around that time. At, then uh, after, I think it's the I.O. Club? Club? Right yes. Yeah. Matter of fact, no disrespect, but I was also promoting Armadale, you know, <laughs> you know on the side, man. Yo, it was mad love, but yo, have you, like, from like DJ Rock Radar, if I'm not mistaken, he has, you know, he's basically passed away a long time ago. Right? Now, how did that affect, you know, the whole DJ community? You know, especially here in New York. Uh, well, I, my, my personal opinion on it is Raider's not here to uh, impart wisdom and, and, and teach the generation right behind us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Especially, you know, once you get the title Grand Master, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's a certain amount of responsibility that goes with that. And, like, you know, he's, he was all, like, at least with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was always, like, real cool and open. Like, I could ask Ray to anything. So, like, I, I imagine, like, if he felt comfortable with any of the, the newer DJs coming up, you know, in, in, in the battle scenes and even, like, people that want to start to get competitions and things like that, like, Ray the guy to talk to him. So, like, I feel like it, 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 the scene doesn't suck, you know what I'm saying? But, like, there's, 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 there's going to be something missing. Right. All, all we have now are videos, you know what I'm saying? All, all you can do now is watch the news. But, like, you'll, you'll never be able now to, to hear passion from the man. That, that, that kind of hurts. So. Yeah. Now, that, that is one thing I always, he brought up the, the group company flow. That was from El Producto, also him, and you also had a, a female artist on there too. Well, uh, Queen Heroine, was, yes. and she's part of the Indelibles. Queen Heroine's part of the Juggernauts. That's uh, Ruin and, and uh, 
because you can't feed the system. Oh, okay. Yo, sh big, yo, shout out to them. But what made the whole group actually just like, you know, just, you know, just separate? Uh, that just started a... Uh, having different ideas that didn't, that wasn't going to work together in the next record. So like, you know, I always look at it as like, I, I didn't want to go out with a, with a whimper. We went out with a champion, you know? So like, Funk, Funk Crusher and Little Johnny were like the two, two you know, basically groundbreaking records, you know? And, you know yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I remember when I first had El Producto, LP, shout out to my man LP. Phenomenal artist. Yo, go on YouTube, Company Flow. His cuts, unbelievable. I mean, his, his cuts is like crazy. But I know he, he gotta get back, you know, hurry up and DJ, but right now he's simmering right now. But on the behalf of that marinade. <laughs> On the behalf of, you know, Crazy Noise Production, I want to go ahead and present you with this album. I appreciate this. My man, DJ Lynn, the action right here on the other pitches. Again, stay tuned. Don't want to miss all the toys. All right, that was epic. Man, shout out to my man, Mr. Lynn, for coming to flow. Man, now, for all y'all been waiting for, the interview with my man, Jerobi. Let's go ahead and find out the history with Tribe, along with his Eat Tribe to Life Tribe Talking Tuesdays, and his project with Entertain, which is basically native spell, spell backwards, along my man Drez from Black Sheep, man, legendary rapper. So let's go ahead and tune in and find out what he has to say. Welcome to the Rhythm Kitchen. I'm your host, Patio, where we believe in Fable in your ear. I'm alongside my man, Master Chef Jerome from Tribe Called Quest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> but, but, Hey, I just want to basically get some questions from my man right here because I'm flown from Detroit. Had to be here. What up, get, though? Yeah, what up, though? Pony down, Earl playing all day. <laughs> and get some of these socos on. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's some questions I definitely wanted to ask you um, on a you know, hip hop perspective. When it comes to Tripod Quest, who basically came up with the, um, with the name of the group? Um, well, uh, we were always Quest. You know? Um, and then when uh, Chip went to. Uh, <laughs> Tip went to school uh, to virtually. Um, promo number one, I think promo number two, he said a group called Quest. Africans come out of the second tribe. Wow. Really? <laughs> that is, wow, that's some history. Yeah. Now, you basically left in 91, right? To basically, you know, let's say a roughly 90, 91, and early 90s. Well, I, well, I left is, I didn't leave, I just... You just took a break, you know, basically yeah, took a break to follow your path. Right, right. You know, right, right, right. and you went to the um, Culinary Schools of Arts, which is here in New York City. And what made you want to become a, um, a master chef, and who inspired you? Um, well, when I was young, it came out of necessity. I had to cook for me. My, my, I have a brother that's 10 years younger than me. My parents were crazy hours, so it came out of necessity. And uh, I watched uh, a lot of PBS girls, so like Julia Child, Sugar Gordon, and all those cats like that. And those were the aspects of trying to take this away from me. Okay. And now, when upon, upon like you're graduating, because I remember you were talking about you went to New York Tech as well, and you want to become a you know a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, go ma, you know. What what made you not you know pursue that dream? You know, legend. Yeah. Um, because like the music stuff was was taking a long time. The music stuff took a lot of time because I was still kind of in and out at the same time. Right. Um, still doing shows and. Um, and uh, the chapter that I was in, they were like underground then. Wow. So I couldn't really, um, you know. <laughs> I, couldn't do, I couldn't do both. I couldn't do both. I couldn't do both. But yeah, but I definitely would have played so. Okay. Yo, you heard it. Hey, you heard it. You heard it. For real, for real. No question. Now, from all of the songs and all the title, titles of the album, what would you say was your best, the best album, you know, of hip hop history when it comes from Trap Hop? Wow, that's hard. Um, I, for me, my personal favorite is Low End Theory. Okay, and why is it? Uh, Low End Theory was like, kind of like the, the transition of boyhood going into 
Pizza Man and the emergence of my boy Five Diggy. Yes. And that's when Five Diggy starts <laughs> flaming on him. <laughs> Yeah, I told y'all. My, my crew is tight. I told y'all. So, so that was really exciting. So, low in theory. I think now, I think um, Midnight Marauders is a masterpiece. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's a masterpiece. It's hard to pick between those. It's hard to pick between those two. But, you know. Uh, yeah, low in Now, I will say this. Like, I'm from Detroit. And, you know, we basically listen to Midnight Marauders. And we had... Um, a good friend of ours who also passed, also from Detroit, James Yancey, aka, you know, Jay Dilla. Shout out to the whole Yancey crew, you know, my dudes. Now, JD. Yes. The real JD. Now, when he first came here to New York, now, did you ever get a chance to meet him and work with him? Hell yeah. Now, what was it like, you know, working with our boy Jay Dilla? Um, he's like one of those genius cats, like, you know what I'm saying? Just his, um, him, 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 him and Tip got along so well because of their ability to pick these grooves out of existing music that nobody else heard. Like, you know what I'm saying? They would catch the loops and chop these loops up like, like nobody's business. You know what I mean? And, and Jay was ill the way he would stack his drums. And a lot of people don't know he actually played the drums. And yes. He's very, very musical. He's a musician. You know what I mean? And um, it was like seeing. I don't know, Stevie Wonder or Marvin Gaye, like, like, put it together, and put it together. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite experiences is, um, uh, Fife, when Fife did one of his first solo, first solo song, uh, me and him, we took on tour, like, hop on tour, mm -hmm. went to Detroit for a couple days, and did a couple of songs, and that was just a dope experience, because we came, we flew in, you know what I'm saying, uh, Frank Nip, he's my dude, Frank Yeah, Nip, Frank Nitty. Frankie Ross. <laughs> Frank picked us up from the airport, you know what I'm saying? Brought us to the house, we were chilling in the house for a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? T3 and everybody, and boxing came through, like, you know what I'm saying? So that was one of my favorites. Wow. It was just me and my Word. Dude, oh my God, now this, you learned, you're getting history here, you're getting history. Now, there's one particular thing that I, that's also been put on, you know, on my mind. Dress from Black Sheep. Wow. Um, it's an Everton, which is Everton. Everton. Yeah, Everton, which is native spelled backwards. Wow. How did y'all come up with the name and collab on the album together like that? So um, after we did the movie, Dress hit me up and said, "Yo, son, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So he's like, Okay, we'll revisit. So we kept asking, kept asking, kept asking. So I was in Atlanta and I was like, I just got to the point where I was like, yo, I'm not going to, I'm going to stop <coughs> saying no to all these opportunities. Right. Next opportunity, I'm going to stay. And yeah, we got my man, DJ, uh, I'm going to apologize. Oh, please, that's Mr. Lynn. You know, Mr. Lynn, Lynn you please, know, that's from Lynn. Company Flow. <laughs> yo, right like, now, I'm drinking whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> out of, like, people in hip hop and stuff like that, he's one of my favorite human beings. God, that's my brother. I met him like over 20 years ago. <laughs> I wish I did. You know what I'm saying? I wish I knew for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was always a big fan of Kung Yeah. El Producto. Yeah. Oh my God. Yo, cuts are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I do a oh, so, no, 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 no. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I came to New York. Mm -hmm. And. He's like, okay, um, ready? I'm like, yeah, we're gonna do this. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna jump on this first song with you. Please transition it for me. Mm -hmm. So we did the song, and the song came out really good, which is Keep Keeping On. Right. We did that song, everybody's like, no, this is a I played for Tip. He's just like, yo, y'all sound really good together, man. Y'all should be a group. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> So, I go back to Dress, I'm like, yo, Dress, I'm on amp, I'm like, yo, Dress. said, we should be loose. He's like, okay, slow down, Calvin. Slow down, you know what I'm saying? So, he's like, let's do a couple songs, see what happens. We do another song, damn, that's dope. Another song, damn, let's go. So, like, six songs in, we're like, okay, we should probably make a name for this group, because we're a group. Okay, it's right. official, we're a group now, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we uh, mess around with, with a lot of names, and we're like, well, and, and the name has to do something with the name of Jones. 
Right. It has to be something made to come. So we're messing around with the world. We got all kinds of things. And then I think we just saw it in the mirror. We saw it in the native mirror. It's an Everton. There it is. And he was like, yo, Everton. I was like, native Everton. That's dope. That's that dope. Is dope. So that's what, that's what I got. Now, we're going to transition to right now. Eats Rhymes in Life. Try and talk on Tuesdays. Here in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, New York. All day, every day. All day, every day. Now, the name, Eats Rhymes in Life. Explain the title. <laughs> Even though it speaks for itself. <laughs> Again, it's always about branding. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, Eats, Eats Rhymes in Life. You know, beach runs in life, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, beach runs in life, that's dope, because that's what it's about, beach runs in life. Right. Um, there's a strong food component and a strong music component. Uh, you hit the don't talk to me. <laughs> Blacksmith. 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 That is my boy, yeah. Roby. I'm here just representing a photographer for Brian King Photography. And I rock my man right here. He works, he works for Everton. Yeah, got, got oh, word, word. Got them from every angle. Solid. Solid citizen. It's my dude. I love you, man. Peace, fam. Thank you. Nah, I'm here. Peace. Okay. And it's my friend, Ufa. Hi, Yvonne. First time here? <laughs> no, no, I ain't Yvonne. I said Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne. 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 Oh, Yvonne. <laughs> So, um, and you know, you know, it's about branding, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, we built this, this tribe thing up, so, you know, to be like, yo, this is something that we put a lot of sweat equity into. We need to use the name and the brand as much as possible. Like, you know, okay. That's what we did. So I was like, ooh, these rhymes are life. You know what I mean? That's the name of the company. Um, tribe Taco Tuesdays is one of the events that we do. Um, we also do a uh, uh, summer barbecue series. Ah, uh, yes. Um, we also do a restaurant takeover. Really? Yeah, so what I do, I call it a total hip hop approach to cooking. Mm -hmm. I go to somebody's restaurant, I look at their menu, I on the menu, and I see what their ingredients are, and I remix dishes. I take what they have in house and make totally new dishes out of what they have in house. Wow! So it's like sampling. A sampling. A sampling and remixing. You know what I'm saying? So that, I call it the total, total hip hop approach to cook, right? That is dope. Not bad, now, right? is this a, a more so of like a summer event or all year round? No, Tribe Taco Tuesday is strictly a summer event. Okay. I got the idea for Tribe Taco Tuesday because I was in LA and um, I was at a club watching my man Adam 12 spin. Okay. And I'm like, we get been drinking. Wow. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'm hungry, dude. He's like, yeah, there's tacos. Yeah. What? So we're going to the back in the area like this, they have tacos. I'm like, we don't have this in New York. You know? Right. So I come back and then I started noticing on social media, they have Tribe Tuesday. So I was like, duh. Tribe Taco Tuesday. Because Taco Tuesday is a thing. Tribe, Tribe Tuesday is a thing. It's like two brand new and got Tribe Taco Tuesday. Word, word. Right now we're gonna go ahead and take a break so we can go ahead and get these doggone tacos rolling. He's yeah, gonna go rolling. ahead. He's gonna basically prepare the amazing dish so we can get our eat on. Cheers, All right, everybody. Yes, sir. Rip kitchen. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, yo, that was my man from Jerobe at Tribe Called Quest, along with, man, legendary artists and producers. <laughs> I'm not from Detroit, but yo, your boy DJ Diamond got mad love for Detroit. Matter of fact, if you live in Detroit, make sure you go to City Wings. My man Grant owns it. Best wing shop in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I done toured around this world like 15 times. I'm on my third passport. I know where to eat. You feels me? DJ Diamond, the artist, yes. Burn Rubber, <laughs> City Wings, Google him. Detroit. Google him. I'm kind of I know who he is. Google I'm him. I'm sort of kind of a big deal. Use the Googles. <laughs> I look like the ice cream man right now because I got to go DJ on a boat. But yo, shout out Google to my man, Harder. Jerobe. My dude. This, you don't even got to Google him. This is my dude. <laughs> you, already, you already know. I ain't get to taste his cooking paws because we may have <laughs> <laughs> but next time I'm gonna be back here, I'm gonna get on the one and twos with my boy uh, DJ Boogie Blind L. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole crew. Shout out to Burn Rubber. We here. Tell you I see. Let's go. Yeah, you let's heard? go, baby. This boy DJ Diamond, the artist, and they call me an artist because I'm sensitive about my shit. <laughs> on the behalf of Detroit Burn Rubber. Oh, man. Love. We present you love. the Desert Storms, love, Chef Hat, love, love. and.
man. Love, love. Crazy Noise Production. Oh, there we go. Get the official I album. Oh, look at oh. Cousin, yes, my cousin Dez yeah, and DJ Butter. You ready know, you ready know. Yes. Oh, but Dez, you're Dez, Dez. <laughs> That's what I gotta say, fam. You already know, you already know you, my brother. You already know. Yeah, but we got one more. More gifts. Yes. I like that. And when I say, make sure it's right. I'll make sure it's right. You gotta kill a poison. Yeah. Get a crazy noise t-shirt. Piece of the action. There we go. Piece of the action and the legendary cassette, yo. Yeah. 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 Cassettes, baby. So for all you kids out there, this is a cassette. <laughs> <laughs> it goes in a cassette player. A cassette, man. You just have to carry these around in a little box. You put it in this in a little box. And <laughs> it's called a Walkman. See, they don't understand that, man. Yeah. <laughs> don't they don't. Know. They don't understand the battery hustle. Or, but brother, thank you for having me here. Check it out. This is your man Jerobe White. One half of Everton, one quarter of a tribe called Quest. You're at East Rhymes in Life, and we're on J Boss TV. Yo, I want to say thanks for my man J Boss from J Boss TV. But I got a surprise for him, so I want to see his reaction and everything. So let's go ahead and tune in real quick. Welcome to another episode of Rhythm Kitchen, where we bring a flavor to your ear. I'm your host, Padillo, with my man J Boss from J Boss TV, Lord Eastside Rough Riders. That's right. The Prez, the man, the myth, the legend. On the behalf of Burn Rubber Detroit, my brother, and he's been there with me from thick and thin, man. I want to say thank you for helping me with my project. I get from me to you. Official Bone Rubber T-shirt, 3X, if that was your request. I'm gonna lose some weight. Yes, he's official Bone Rubber now. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely the love. I want to definitely give a special shout out to all my cast and burn rubber Detroit man for blessing me with all the latest apparel. If you want to go ahead and check out the website, you can go to www.burnrubberdetroit.com. Also, to get a piece of the action, listen to the music, you can download on iTunes or go to crazynoiseproductions.com and check out the latest tours, music, production, the whole nine. And also, tune in to J-Boss TV where you can basically see all the latest Rough Riders on from Epic videos, crazy shots. Oh yeah, of course I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? Always. <laughs> and the Rhythm Kitchen directed, also holds and co-director, J-Boss Patillo, the collab, man. The Puerto Rican Cuban, baby. You know how we do it, man. We, it's a takeover. It's a takeover. Get it right. <laughs> Yo, that was my man, J-Boss, for J-Boss TV. Subscribe to his YouTube, J-Boss TV. Double R, Lloyd Eastside, Rough Riders, man. Check out all the later exclusives of his videos, epic videos. And subscribe to mine, the deal, you know. Tell me what y'all think. You know, give me some insights and inputs. Well, I'm out like Trout. Yo, man, stay up and cool. Let's see it. Yo, I'm out. Go, mom. Everybody will never guess where she's from. Why don't you tell us? Why don't you tell us where, we, where you're from? So, my name is Lady Ryan. Uh -huh. I live in Oakland. What? I'm from Virginia, but I live in Oakland. What? Long, 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 They don't know. <laughs> I've been teaching them every day. Tell you what, baby, that gas money. <laughs> <laughs> that money boogie blood in the house. Yes. They might. Doing the big, doing the big. You know what I'm saying? Be by the group, Hustle Family, Breakthrough Radio, all that, all that. Oh, word, man. Hey, thank you for stopping out, man. All the time. Man, look, hey, from A3C, man, we were put in mad work. Mad work, man. A3C, Atlanta, Magic City. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to be back on this year? Yeah, hell yeah. We always there. All right, bless you. We always there. Yeah. We're rocking. You know what I'm saying? Good to see y'all. Oh, yeah, man. Look, I had
that looks. Hey, I'm walking outside and look who I see. He was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Yo, man, thank you for stopping by, man. Be minus in the table, man. Man, word up. Yes, yes, Yo, again. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm your host, Patio, The Rhythm Kitchen, the first promo show. I want to give a shout out to my baby, Beverly Vanto. I love you. Thank you for believing in me, especially my advisor, Ms. Roxanne Cullen from Fair State University, my brother from another mother, DJ Butter, and my cousin, Mi Primo Dez. Man, thank y'all for allowing me to intern with y'all alongside my brother from another mother, J Boss from J Ball TV. Again, tune in with him. And also, last but not least, my children. Dylan and Giuliani, I love y'all. Poppy misses y'all. Get ready for school. Y'all better be doing some good, all right? And my frat brothers, Kappa Alpha Sigma Chapter in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Georgia Sigma's re-rule. Go mob or go home. I'm out. About to enjoy these tacos. And guess what? Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. And on my way back to Detroit. Go mob or go home. Let's go.